Hi guys. So I think it's a good time to create a new video. It's nothing like a rainy day or just after a rainy night to motivate me to create a pond and garden update video. So I'll take you around. First, I gotta uh, explain a new scar that I got. Um, I've always thought my face was too clean. So what I did is got a fancy new scar. See? That looks very... Uh, makes me look a little rougher, doesn't it? Anyways, it was back in April and I was running uh, upstairs at a restaurant uh, with my hands in my pocket, my coat pocket, and I was wearing these uh, clunky shoes because we just had uh, a great day uh, watching uh, the cherry blossom at High Park. And uh, I was running up the stairs because uh, I need to go use the bathroom to go pee quickly. And uh, then I tripped and landed on the concrete steps. Uh, I couldn't catch myself. Um, so I ended up right smack on my head, unprotected. And I needed like six, six stitches. Uh, to uh, close that up. I think it healed okay. And uh, I might have a permanent scar there, but uh, I think it looks okay. Hopefully it'll fade over time. What's nice about uh, filming after uh, the rain is that you can see how nice the rocks are when they're wet. And I uh, never really talked about uh, these rocks, but I've uh, collected these. Um, I started collecting them even before the pond was built because I knew I was gonna get, uh, I was gonna build a pond. But, uh, and then soon after I collected more rocks. So look at this big one right there. Um, I can't believe um, I carried these all by myself and set them out uh, where they are right now, all by myself. I can't believe I'd be able to do anything like this now. I'll show you, I'll show you guys some more rocks. Some of the big rocks are actually underneath here, under the, the bridge. the rock work for this garden here. I'm doing a little bit of renovation here. I'm taking out uh, these rocks here to make more space for me because I find that this area here is too narrow uh, for me to get into. Some of my moss here uh, have died uh, because they've been taken over by these watercress over the winter, they've ended up um, invading this area here and taking over some of my moss. So I have since uh, pulled a lot out and uh, dug the roots out. Hopefully the moss will, will grow. This is my pom-pom tree. I just gave them a haircut. I bought one of those um, DeWalt trimmers uh, to make it easy for me to uh, trim these. Um, 
they're one of those uh, rechargeable trimmers. They work nice. I'll show them to you in future videos. Look at the roots of this. It looks very bonsai. I'll show you guys how I built this. Um, I kind of build it real fast. So the rock work is, is, is uh, not very nice, but it works. I can still get through here with the lawnmower. So that's what's left of the moss in this area anyway. See some of the um, watercress have come out of the pond. and uh, invaded this area here. I think they like this area because um, if I get an overflow, it'll come out of this little section here and uh, it would spill over just as uh, it's doing now. And uh, I can't keep up with the weeds. It just, it's just too much. Here's a watercress that's uh, grown in this section. And the watercress also invaded my papyrus plant. In this area here, it drowned it out. And uh, I took some of the, uh, I took the watercress out um, to reveal my papyrus plant because it was just covered and uh, it looks like it hasn't died because um, it's growing slowly but I have to keep an eye on it that uh, the watercress doesn't overgrow I'll put, the, I'll put these in my salad later also look the watercress have uh, created these bug areas between the rocks and these are uh, the old roots of the uh, watercress. It's turned into soil. Um, I'll leave that there because I think it's good. As, uh, it serves as a filter. Uh, it creates sort of a bog area uh, in between the rocks. There's some more watercress here. And you can see the bog area. I can pull this out and it will leave uh, the soil behind. And here I've uh, pulled it out in some other area. Also, um, I have a new uh, grapevine that's growing here. Last year I stuck a twig in this area here and uh, it was alive last year, uh, but I thought it died. But look, it's alive. I think that's uh, gonna take a hold this area here is uh, the, the moss is pretty nice this here is uh, a grapevine too but I bought this one at Costco I think it's uh, 20 bucks I don't know what to do with it um, I don't know why I keep buying these things uh, on a whim but anyways I might keep it, um, keep it bonsai. That means I'll just chopping, keep chopping it uh, until I know what to do with it. This one here is my son's bonsai. Um, it survived the winter. I think it, it survived its first winter, if I can remember. And uh, yeah, it's uh, creating little pine cones there. That means it's healthy, I guess. Um, this shrub here, I uh, I trim uh, so I can see the uh, the soil underneath it. 
And also I can see the uh, my pergola now because before it was like out of control. I could it's like covering everything. Now it's uh, it's much cleaner. Um, I'm continuing to uh, put barricades. Uh, around my fence, so uh, maybe the, that uh, eventually I'll be able to prevent uh, the rabbits from coming in and uh, eating my garden. Coming around here, I bought uh, a new set of uh, trees that I got this year because last year uh, my mature mature uh, fruit trees, uh, the ones were, that were already bearing fruit, were eaten by uh, rabbits. They gnawed on the on the on the stem, on the trunk uh, during the winter time, and they uh, they died. So this year, uh, I want to make sure that uh, I protect the. Uh, the trunk uh, when I store them away for the winter. This is my Acer plant. Somehow they did the the rabbits didn't eat this one. I guess it's, it doesn't taste that fruity. And I'll show you uh, my wife's new uh, raised garden bed that I just made. On a couple of videos ago, uh, I showed you how I, how, how I was building it, but now it's uh, come to be a reality. And it's almost done. I just have to raise it one more. Um, one more uh, plank here. Maybe it's a, a thicker sort of like capping on top of this. But uh, my wife's really happy with it and she really enjoys this area here and it keeps her busy. Um, these are the bitter melons that she's grown from uh, seeds. Um, and I think these are, I don't know, these are, um, I don't know what, uh, what this is. Maybe it's cucumber and uh, I think we're gonna have a lot this year. There's one that's growing here. And uh, look how big these leaves are. These are uh, perilla leaves. They are very good in the salad. And uh, tonight I think we're gonna have Korean barbecue. And uh, I think uh, these uh, large leaves will be, uh, will serve as a wrap for uh, that barbecue. He's got some lettuce. And what else? Um, she's got new types of mint here. And her tomato plant. This is really keeping her um, quite busy. And she's really enjoying this uh, garden that uh, I made for her. I might build another one here, right beside here, but half the size of this little area. To continue, uh, the flowers have bloomed here on this little corner of the garden. And uh, I got these beautiful flowers that uh, greets me on a yearly basis. This uh, garden, backyard is always work in progress. There's always something to do. I can't even keep up with the grass. Look at it. It's probably the worst grass you've seen. Look at all the weeds. I don't even know how, how I can fix this. 
and then over here there's like a lot of grass that's overgrown uh, on the moss that I've had look at the state of this grass it's horrible um, my moss is uh, just come just just keep spreading which is good I like it to spread and my pond um, just in the middle of vacuuming the pond um, I've cut this iris back I didn't want it to grow uh, anymore because I want more of my moss. Uh, what I did with the extra is that I planted it inside the pond. So these were planted uh, from last year. And the one over there is uh, new. I just tucked that in between the rocks there. This year, the pump that uh, runs this bog filter died and had to uh, replace it with a new one. Uh, I have a, one that's uh, a backup, but it wasn't as strong as the old one. The old one was running, I believe, uh, 500 uh, gallons per hour. Uh, but anyways, I don't know exactly, but this one is less strong. Uh, which is okay because the um, the resident time for the water will be less. So hopefully it will serve as a better uh, filter. Uh, but also it will save me a little bit in electricity. When it died, I actually didn't clean this filter. Um, um, I think uh, I didn't need to because whatever the bugs in there were still alive and uh, I want to keep them. Uh, right now uh, it's uh, overflowing but should this get stuck I kind of like chipped away at the end here so if this gets uh, if gets this plug, there's a way for water to escape, or else it'll spill over and uh, empty empty uh, a, a, a good amount of water from the pond. The fish are doing good, and the water is uh, nice and clear. And uh, the water looks pretty healthy. I've never, I haven't tested the water in a long time. Maybe almost two months now. Partly because I've been too lazy uh, and also been pretty busy. And plus, the fish are doing okay, so I don't, uh, I'm not in a hurry to test the water parameters as much as before. Uh, project this year is that I'm going to um, rebuild this portion here, like from here to here, and uh, make it stronger and make this into a bridge. I'll show you guys uh, in the garage and, uh, uh, the state and the condition that it's in at the moment. It's, uh, it's, it's being built. I wanted a bridge here because I wanted uh, the bridge to be permanent and to be honest it's quite hard putting the frame of the cover uh, together and then disassembling it in, in, the, uh, in the spring and then doing it again in the winter. It just takes too much uh, effort and energy. Um, and I really want this pond to be uh, less maintenance and more joy uh, to be had. So 
and you know, as we get older, we won't have as much energy to put these kinds of frames together. So I'm trying to make it as simple as possible, keeping the frame uh, intact as long as it looks okay. Yeah, it, it's fine. Even my uh, vent system here that I use during the winter time, I don't plan, plan on assembling, uh, disassembling it this summer. Even though it looks kind of ugly, uh, I, I do plan uh, uh, covering this up somehow so it looks kind of nicer more presentable. There's so many things to do. Uh, I don't mind doing them because like, you know I like keeping busy but uh, this this deck is uh, anyway the deck is fine but uh, this part here is getting rotten. I think next year I'm gonna work on this to, be, to make it more uh, to make it more maintenance free so it doesn't uh, rot as much i don't know what to do yet but you can see here the wood is uh, rotting away but the deck is holding up pretty good uh, the deck port itself this is pressure treated wood but part of it is uh, cedar like from here on and cedar I love cedar they last forever I'll show you uh, a cedar uh, swing that I use that I built when we moved in more than 21 years ago and it's holding up quite nice the grapevines are doing really, really well I think I'm going to have more grapes this year than last year. I think every year I tend to get more grapes. Look at that. And there's a ton of it. hanging over the pond area and this is why I wanted the permanent bridge here something that's really strong that, uh, that can hold that can hold me when I uh, cross over so that uh, at least I can trim and reach the grave This makes for a uh, perfect shade during the summertime for the corn. They love it. When they do grow over, I trim it down. I have to set limits to how far these grapevines can go because they can, they can grow wild and overtake everything. Plus also if I set limits, I can see uh, the pond better from my bedroom here, and which is uh, a good place for me to look out to and enjoy the koi. I'll show you. So even from the bedroom window, I can watch the koi. See? I even took the screen out of the window here. Who cares about bugs? I want to be able to see the koi better so I would just like sit here or stand here and uh, watch the koi every morning while I'm changing the koi are doing okay the temperature is 20.3 right now and they're always hungry around this time from 
The temperature is 18 degrees up. I've doubled their feeding. Instead of feeding the 8 grams of uh, koi food, I doubled it to 16 grams. And maybe uh, if it continues to be, if the water continues to be over 20 degrees, I might uh, bring that up to uh, 18 to 20 grams per day. They don't, they don't need much. I'd like them to be always looking for food and always hungry. And somehow they tend to somehow find food somewhere around the pond, in the algae or in between the rocks. And sometimes when I'm digging, digging food in gardens, lifting rocks, moving rocks around, weeding, I find uh, warmth and I just throw it in the pond. Anyway, I'm gonna go, we're gonna go look at uh, the, new, the new bridge that I'm building. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one, this little portion here, and uh, I'm making one that's uh, a little stronger. The weak part of the bridge that I'm gonna put on here is the, um, where it's gonna stand on. These two rocks here are pretty stable, but this rock here is almost at the edge of the pond. So hopefully, the edge won't collapse because of the, uh, the weight of the pond because after these rocks there's a drop off and there's nothing supporting uh, the soil underneath it except that's the water that's pushing against it and hopefully the uh, soil underneath it is well compacted uh, by this time, the pond uh, being uh, about nine years old. So we'll go look at the uh, what I'm building. I also have to cement these rocks because they're not very stable when you walk on it. Let's go to the garage. This is a stone pathway that I built a long time ago. This is my mint garden that I pick from almost every, every day to add to my salad. My uh, raspberry bush. There's the bridge that I'm building, the new bridge. It's going to have two of these uh, two by fours on each side. Like that. So it should be uh, quite strong. Again, the weakest part is uh, maybe the uh, whatever uh, this is standing on that particular particular rock. And hopefully it'll hold. 